good morning everybody uh, in this video we'll be uh, discussing about the parts of the coupling in the last video we discussed about the MAF coupling in this video we'll just go through the other couplings so as we had discussed in the previous video that a coupling is a unit which is used to connect two shafts so we just saw with about the details about the MAF coupling or sleeve coupling so the MAF the key and the shaft is what we saw so now we'll just go with uh, the details of other couplings this is a flange coupling this part is the flange outer flange this is the hub and here you can see the shaft with the key here and the nuts and nuts and bolts used to fasten them uh, this is the whole unit is a flange coupling so I will be connecting two shafts the shaft and the key the shaft and the key here so this is the flange coupling and then this is the jaw coupling which we have seen in the previous videos this coupling basically has three jaws and it has a rubber bushing here to absorb the vibrations This coupling is basically a new one and if you if you want to create a use it you need to drill a hole here and then the shafts will fit inside this and then as usual as we have seen the key a smaller sized key will fit along with the shaft which you have seen here the same type the key will fit on the shaft and then that goes into the coupling so this is the jaw coupling and the next one as you can see is the chain coupling the coupling has two units this as same as this one and two two units so here one and two these are two units for two shafts that was not the case with the muff coupling if you see the muff coupling the whole unit is one one sleeve which has two shafts as I, as I showed you it has two shafts it had two shafts there to hold and the sleeve was only one but in these couplings we will have two units to hold two shafts bolted together so the same thing with a chain coupling there is a chain here and these are the this and this are the two units so here we'll have a chain separator a pin we just pull this out and then the chain comes out and then you can have the two parts separated then the shaft basically fits here the shaft which we I, which will be used to transmit power will be fitted here the motor shaft will be fitted here and then the other shaft through which you want to transmit power will be fitted on this side and then a key slot will be cut here as you have seen a key slot this is the key slot the slot will be cut inside this and then this can be used to transmit power so a small amount of vibration is also allowed here and there are sprockets teeth teeth sprockets here as you can see the teeth and here is the chain so this is a chain coupling we'll study about the applications of these in the further coming videos the next one is a protective flange coupling this is a protective flange coupling so it has nuts and bolts and rubber bushing here inside for the cushioning purpose and this is the hole for the shaft and the key hole will be cut later on when based on the diameter of the shaft so this is a protective flange coupling this is a unprotected flange coupling this is a protected flange coupling why is this known as a protected, protected flange coupling because there is a small amount of protection provided here this is the circumferential protection uh, when the coupling rotates at high velocity this should not come in contact with the human that is the reason there is a protection provided here so these are the bolts and the protection so this is a protective flange coupling and this as I told you is an unprotected flange coupling so there is no protection outer protection here 
So this is an unprotected flange coupling. And then lastly, we'll just see about the gear coupling. This is a gear coupling which has this is one part where the other shaft fits in and this is one part where the motor shaft fits in or the machine shaft this part will fit here at the outer covering so this will not have any nuts and bolts to fasten it is just inside this it is used to rotate uh, hold the two shafts together so the gear is cut here the gear teeth are cut so this is about the gear coupling for lighter loads we will study about uh, this flange coupling in the next video thank you everybody